What causes blood clots and how to help prevent them? Our blood clots naturally to protect us from bleeding uncontrollably. This is useful in situations where we want blood clots to form, but blood clots can also lead to problems. Patients admitted to hospital are at risk of developing blood clots. A blood clot which forms in the veins of the leg is known as a deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. If part of the clot breaks off, it can travel in the bloodstream to the lungs. This is known as a pulmonary embolism, or PE, which can be dangerous. At NUH, we want to prevent as many blood clots as possible. All patients when they're admitted to hospital have a risk assessment carried out to see whether they need preventative medication. This video will show you why blood clots form, how we can try to prevent them, and what measures we take in hospital to prevent as many of these clots as possible. Blood clots can form in several areas of the body, but most commonly develop in the legs, DVT, or lungs, PE. Many different factors can increase your risk of developing a blood clot, including infection, operations, cancer, pregnancy, trauma, varicose veins, immobility, and being overweight. Certain medicines such as oral contraception, hormone replacement therapy and chemotherapy can make you more prone to blood clots. If you have had a clot in the past, tell us, as this is a risk for having one again. Reducing your chance of developing a blood clot starts as soon as you arrive at hospital. It's important that you follow the advice given while in hospital, and there are several ways in which you can reduce your risk of blood clots during your hospital stay. Drink plenty of fluids, unless advised otherwise. Don't smoke, as this can increase the risk of you developing a clot. Being immobile for long periods, just as on a long-haul flight, is a major contributing risk factor for blood clots formed in hospital. You can minimize your risk by moving around. If you're unable to walk or stand, you can simply move your legs in your hospital bed. Moving them regularly each hour will help get the blood moving back towards your heart. Try not to cross your legs or feet whilst in bed or sitting in a chair. Even after discharge, you may still be at risk of developing a blood clot, so continue to follow this advice at home. Anticoagulant injection. Patients are often prescribed an anticoagulant or a blood thinning injection during their hospital stay to help reduce the risk of developing a clot. In some instances, it's necessary for it to be continued for a period of time after discharge from hospital. If this is the case, your nursing team will show you how to give this yourself at home. This is given using a very small needle and injected under your skin. It reduces your blood's ability to form clots, which may also prevent them forming. The dose and frequency varies based upon your weight and the rest of your health. Many of the anticoagulant injections we use are of animal porcine or pig origin. We suggest you speak to your treating team about alternatives if you're worried, and an information leaflet with further information is also available. Compression stockings. You may be prescribed compression stockings to be worn in hospital, as these can also help reduce the risk of blood clots. They help prevent clots as they reduce blood pooling in your legs. Your legs will be measured to ensure stockings are the correct size. They should fit snugly, but should not be too tight, creased or rolled down your legs, as this could reduce blood entering your legs or damage your skin. They should be changed daily and your skin checked. Sometimes we use inflatable sleeves with air pumps to mechanically squeeze your legs as an alternative to compression stockings when in hospital. How would I know if I had a blood clot? What to watch out for? If you develop pain, swelling or skin colour change in your legs or arms, you may have a blood clot, also known as deep vein thrombosis or DVT. You must telephone your GP or 111 immediately for advice and you may be referred to your nearest A&E, Accident and Emergency Department. If a piece of clot breaks off or becomes dislodged, it can travel to your lungs this is called a pulmonary embolism, or PE. This may cause you shortness of breath, pain in your chest or upper back, or you may cough up blood-stained sputum. A P 
PE is a medical emergency and can be life-threatening, and you must go straight to hospital without delay, preferably via ambulance. How to administer your anticoagulation injection and fit compression stockings. If you need to continue your blood thinning injection following your hospital stay, you'll be taught how to inject yourself and also told the dosage, frequency and duration of this treatment. Keep your syringes at room temperature. Do not put them in the fridge or freezer. As with all medicines, keep them out of reach of children. If you're seen by other healthcare professionals, such as your dentist, let them know you're using them. You might bleed or bruise more easily. So be careful when shaving, brushing and flossing your teeth. If you fall or hurt yourself or have any signs of bleeding, you should seek medical advice by contacting your GP or 111 or dial 999 if bleeding is severe. And do not inject any further anticoagulant until you've been advised to do so. How to administer my anticoagulation injection. Injection instructions. Firstly, get everything you need. Then wash and dry your hands. Check the syringe is in date, not damaged, and the liquid is clear. Remove the cap and remember the bubble is supposed to be there. Position yourself so you're comfortable and ensure that you can see the part of the stomach that you're going to inject. As you've been taught, pinch the skin and with the syringe at a 90 degree angle, inject in a place that's about two inches away from your belly button, avoiding any scars or bruising. Remember to use alternate left and right sides and different points. After you've injected yourself, put the syringe immediately into the sharps bin that you've been provided with on discharge. For advice on correct disposal of your sharps box, contact your GP, local council or pharmacy. Compression stockings. You might be advised to wear your compression stockings after discharge. Wear them day and night until your mobility is back to normal. They should be off for no longer than 30 minutes whilst changing. You can take two pairs home with you and they can be washed at 40 degrees C and air dried. Don't tumble dry them. Follow the instructions provided with your stockings. Make sure the stockings sit evenly on the skin, smoothing out any wrinkles. To ensure good circulation, make sure that the top band of the stocking finishes two fingers from the back of the knee. Check that the heel is placed correctly and the open toe is placed under the toe area. If you notice any issue with your skin, for example a break or an ulcer when changing your stockings, consult your GP and avoid wearing them until you've been reviewed. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it helped you understand more about managing and reducing the risk of blood clots. If you're looking for additional information, there's a Trust Patient Information leaflet available, entitled Helping Prevent Blood Clots in Hospital, that you can refer to.